joining us today on Around the Peninsula, I'm Maria Soreo, and on today's show, we're talking all things street fair, and joining me on set is my good friend, the CEO and president of the Palace Rudy's Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, Ms. Eileen Hupp. Eileen, always great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I cannot believe it's been another year, and mm -hmm. we're talking street fair, mm -hmm. and this is the 35th annual street fair. How many is it for you now? Is that crazy? Uh, this yes. is actually my 13th. Third, so, lucky yeah. 13. Lucky I like 13. that. Love I like it. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so much to talk about and really get to on the street fair. Um, but I want to start with the music because when I went to the website, mm -hmm. I saw that there is going to actually be a preferred seating area. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. I love this idea. Oh, thank you so much, Maria. So yes. we're very excited. You know, this is something that every year um, our residents and our and the people who come to the street fair ask for this. They come yes. up to us and they say we would love to have a reserve spot right up front in front of the van. Because if you may remember, last year on Sunday afternoon, we were out of chairs. It was Packed. standing yes. room only. Absolutely. And so in response to that request to have a reserve seating area, uh -huh. we're going to try that this year. So we have what is called front and center seating. Okay. And uh, we recommend that you buy it in advance on the Chamber web, on the Palace Ferry Street Fair website, okay. because um, we won't have very many of them available that day. Okay. And so what you do is you purchase for $25 either for Saturday or Sunday, you will get access to that reserved area right in front of the stage for basically the entire time that the professional bands are there. So on Saturday, that's from 2 o'clock in the afternoon until 10 o'clock, and on Sunday it's from 2 o'clock until 9 o'clock. And the idea is, is let's say you have a band that you really want to hear that's at 2 o'clock. So you come at 2 o'clock, you get in there, you have your space, you can bring in your, you know, your, your beverage and your food, whatever, sit that there. That is fantastic. Right. You have the dance area right in front of the stage, and you are there front and center to see the band. And then let's say you want to leave and go on the Ferris wheel or maybe do some shopping. You can come back and get your, you know, come back in and have a seat again in, in that the area, area. Okay. you know, at six o'clock or seven o'clock. So you get for $25, you have unlimited access to that reserved seating, you know, for the entire afternoon. And, and they'll evening. just give you a wristband. Correct. And that'll be great for and the day. And that'll be it. Yeah. That is fantastic. I know. So now, we're excited. For mm -hmm. the bands themselves, mm -hmm. I, this is one of the biggest events on mm -hmm. the Hill, Eileen. Yes. So mm -hmm. how do you select the bands and mm -hmm. who is coming this year? Okay. And that's a great question, Maria, because we have we have so many requests from bands to play yes. because people know about it's our the event. street fair. Exactly. So <laughs> as you know, in the morning, we focus on the community groups. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So for example, the McNulty School of of Irish dancing will be there or the School of Rock. So this gives our youth um, an opportunity, the young people in the community, to perform on a stage. So we're really excited about that. And then starting at two in the afternoon on both Saturday and Sunday, we bring in the professional bands, okay? Oh. That's where the front and center seating will, will apply. Yes. But the professional bands, it's so hard because we have so many favorites that everybody loves, but right. we want to try some new ones as well. Mm -hmm. So we're mixing it up a little bit this year. Okay. So some of our, and the schedule is on the Palos Verde Street Fair website already, um, but we have some of our old favorites like Pretzel Logic, which is the Steely Love Band them. tribute. They're so good. Yeah, they're so much fun. They were the ones that literally was standing room only last year. Yes. Um, Andy and Renee with Hard Rain. Everybody loves their music. Uh, we have uh, Mayor Pat Wilson and his band with Mark Fischette will be playing. That's so that's gonna be super great. fun. Yes. So of course, those are the old favorites that we're bringing back. But okay. we're also really excited because this year on Saturday afternoon and into the evening, we have um, a Fleetwood Mac tribute band oh, that fun. we've never had before. And then Saturday evening, we have a Bon Jovi tribute band that we've never had before. Oh, you're going to get lots be of really people fun. for that, for exactly. sure. Yes. And then Sunday night, one of my all-time favorites, the closing act is Blue Breeze Band. Um, it's phenomenal. They do R&B, Motown, jazz. It's just the best dance music ever. The street fair itself is 10 a.m., to 10 p.m. on Saturday okay. and 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sunday. Sunday. Got so, it. So okay. just think 10 to 10 both days and okay. go home a little early on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. That's, that's fantastic. Um, the carnival is always a big draw. Yes. And of course, the street fair is the 9th, 10th, and 11th. The 9th is teen night. It's Friday. Yes. So tell us about teen night. Oh, yes. That's always packed. Oh, that teen night is so, so much fun. fun. Yeah. So teen night, it's called teen night at the carnival. Okay. And it's from 5 to 10 p.m. And it is for local teenagers. Now, of course, anyone is welcome to come. but um, Because you're going to be there. Because we're going to be there, of course. <laughs> uh, but it's it's really for our local middle and high school students. Okay. Um, school, the public school. 
schools will have just ended that Thursday. So it's kind of, for these young students, it's kind of the beginning of summer. And it's just so much fun to see, you know, to see them walking around and just having a great time. So that will be from five to 10. You can buy the tickets there, or again, we recommend you buy them in advance on the website because you save a little bit of money. That's great. And again, they'll get a wristband yeah. and they mm -hmm. can just party all yeah, night. Right. And with the wristband, you can ride unlimited rides. You can also get individual ride tickets, okay. but the wristband is great. And the same holds true, Maria, for Saturday and Sunday. In advance, you can buy an all-day wristband, which saves you a few bucks. If you buy it, that you can do that as well at the, you know, at the carnival itself okay. on Saturday and Sunday, but you, you get a little bit of a discount if you buy it in advance. Now, for the mm -hmm. rides as well, how do you select the rides? Okay, well, actually, we don't. We have a phenomenal, <laughs> uh, we, we do, well, I shouldn't say that. We do, put in, we do put in our favorites. Like, okay. you have to have the Ferris course, wheel. The okay, Ferris and, wheel, some, yes. and the zipper, right? Right. But um, uh, we leave that up to Helm Brothers Carnival, who okay. brings in the rides. And they work very hard. You know, they're always introducing new rides. Right. And so they want to bring new and different things. And they know what our community really likes because they've been doing the carnival for so many years. So, so they're going to bring back those favorites because they know the teenagers love the zipper, for example. So they're going to do that, but they're always going to bring in some new things. Okay. And my personal claim to fame was last year, Eileen, who was afraid of heights, <laughs> actually went on the Ferris wheel not once, but twice. Wow. Okay. So it's like a whole new thing. It's yeah. a whole new Eileen. I know it See? is. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's always fun, and I mm -hmm. think just to go to the fair, if there's one ride that you want to do, mm -hmm. first of all, the views, the views are fantastic It up is. There. It's unbelievable. Isn't it? It's, it's gorgeous. unbelievable. It's just you get a whole new view of the peninsula. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. fun. Now, the food, I have to say, mm -hmm. we love the food Absolutely. at the street fair. Mm -hmm. So we want to depend on the old favorites, mm -hmm. but a few years back, I had my first fr deep fried Oreo, mm -hmm. which I was like, am I going to like that? I love Oreos. I loved it. That I was know. that was beyond delicious, but only once a year because it was just decadently good. It was so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you decide, mm -hmm. or who decides, of mm -hmm. that cool new maybe mm -hmm. thing to come mm -hmm. to the street fair? Yeah, no, that's a great question, and we obviously have a great committee of volunteers that works on this, as well as the chamber staff. But honestly, with the food vendors, because the food vendors really, really want to be there. They do. It's first come, first serve. Oh, interesting. So it's, if you get your application in first, I mean, because we only have a limited number of spots. Right. The only other thing we will do is if we already have someone doing, let's say, burgers and fries, we're not going to take another food vendor that repeats it. We want to have variety. Right. So if we've already accepted a burger you know, vendor, then we won't take another one. So okay. we, but we do try to mix it up. So, you know, we're going to have the, the standbys, the sausages and the burgers and the deep fried Oreos and the Thai food, the Thai food and so the Mediterranean, good. my favorite ice cream and the ice, soft serve ice cream. I live on that all weekend. And hopefully the funnel cake will yes. be very lean. Oh, definitely funnel cake. Okay. Yeah, definitely funnel cake. <laughs> so it's really, we do work on it and we do some selection and we do some vetting of them. Of course, we look at their website, we look at their menu, right. you know, and all of that and make sure that they have a variety and no duplication, but it's also first come, first serve, and those food vendors line up to get into our street fair. How, have you mm -hmm. noticed that things are kind of back to normal now as far as everybody mm -hmm. wanting to get in and, yeah, and really participate? Absolutely. So yeah. last year, um, was it last year or the year before? I just, We're losing it's track all, it's of all time. A blur, it's all a blur, right? But yeah. when we did the first big street fair after the pandemic, it was right after Governor Newsom you know, reopened the state. That's right. And so we, we did the street fair a week later that year strategically because knowing that that announcement was coming. It was our biggest event ever. And I think that was two years ago. And then last year was even bigger than that. So in terms of the crowds and wow. the people turning out, people are just happy to, to be, out. be outside mm -hmm. and seeing friends and neighbors again that they hadn't seen in so long. Yes. And, you know, as you know, our street fair is a very family friendly event. It's clean. It's well organized. Mm -hmm. People are well mannered. Our vendors love coming for that reason. They and do. Um, I think that's why it is the biggest event on the peninsula because people know that it's going to be well run and there's going to be so much to do. Really, and so much for everyone, including mm -hmm. the shopping. I, I have to admit, yes. uh, we always participate in the shopping, Eileen. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And so we have some great vendors coming. We have some of our standbys. One of my favorites is the Silver Mine, the fellow who does the beautiful sterling silver jewelry. He comes all the way in from the desert. Wow. Um, but we have other things. We have the Pampered Chef with, you know, all the things you need for your kitchen and um, uh, you know, a number of different artisans and vendors, usually about over a hundred, um, who were there. So and I, I sandals, love, sunglasses, you name it. I was going to mm -hmm. say there's there's clothing, there's mm -hmm. toys, there are 
fun makeup things sometimes yes. with the lotions, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. olive oil. I mean, like you name it, you mm -hmm. can find it, which is just, the variety is incredible, right? Really. Absolutely. And we yeah. love it because it's so many of, you know, it's a lot of them. Some come from a distance, like the gentleman who comes all the way from Palm Springs, and then a lot of them are local vendors. A lot of them are local home-based businesses that need a place to sell. So that makes it, you know, really fun and different. Um, and you find things that you can't find elsewhere. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, I love the fact that you mix up the um, the city booze yes. with the mm -hmm. nonprofit, so yes. people can learn about things as well. Yeah. No, thank you for mentioning that. We mm -hmm. actually started this last year, and it was very popular. So we've expanded it this year. Um, we have what we're calling Community Resource Row, oh. and so there we have um, LA County Fire, the PVE Police. We'll have uh, the mental health services from the um, County of Los Angeles will be there. Uh, we have the therapy dogs from uh, oh. Providence Little Company Mary Medical Center will be Love there that. for a bit. They can't be there the whole day. It's too much for them to be in the sun, but they will be there. Uh, last year we had the sheriff bring their, you know, their their equestrian unit. So that will be, and we have the Red Cross Bloodmobile. So that whole area will be filled with um, resources. There's some environmental, um, you know, some of the local waste companies will be there. So. It's a lot of resources for both our residents and our businesses. And I'm glad you mentioned the nonprofits because mm -hmm. a number of our local nonprofits will be there as well. Uh, the school district, the library district, yes. um, some of our local schools, some of our local um, faith-based organizations also take booths. So um, at Peninsula Seniors. So it's a great way to um, see the resources that we have here in the community as well as for these nonprofits to expose what they do, the great work that they do, to people from throughout the South Bay. Because Absolutely. as you know, the street fair draws people from, from the greater LA area. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and also the city booths, RPV TV will be there with yes. us, the city mm -hmm. of RPV. Of Absolutely, yes. yes, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. fun, it's really mm -hmm. fun just to get to know different different nonprofits, different people, mm -hmm. and really kind of network while you're having a great time at the street Absolutely. fair. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you really could not do this without your sponsors, mm -hmm. and that's a big part of this. Tell me yes. who is sponsoring this So year. we have a number of wonderful sponsors, too many to name, but okay, they're wow. on our website, which is great. But, um, you know, special shout out to um, Peninsula Shopping Center and Promenade PV okay. um, and the City of Rolling Hills Estates for the wonderful real estate that we, they, yes, all they over. you know, rent to us so that we can have the event. Certainly to the City of RPV and RPV TV for this great, you know, promotional coverage and publicity. We appreciate that. And Providence Little Company Mary Medical Center is also a major sponsor. And then beyond that, we have a huge list of sponsors and chamber member volunteers who put this together. How many volunteers do you usually have, Eileen? Because oh, there's gosh. so many. Oh, there's so many. And I'll always say not enough because yeah. <laughs> it's it's a lot of work to put it this is. on, as you can imagine. Yes. We have a, a core committee, the Street Fair Committee, and that probably has about 12 people on it. And they've been working on this for a year right? Um, and meet regularly. And then we invite chamber members as well as um, their families and their friends and, and high school groups as well to volunteer over the course of the weekend because we need everything from trash pickup to setting up the vendors, right. you know, greeting people, whatever it might be. And I would say they're probably all told maybe 75, 80 people. Wow, that's yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's great. But we can always use more. That's right. So <laughs> go to the go to the website right. for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, also, we want to remind people that it's free to the mm -hmm. public. And where do we park? So, uh, well, you park wherever you can find okay. a place to park. I like so, that. Yeah, um, <laughs> we definitely... Um, want to make sure that we're respectful of Peninsula Shopping Center and Promenade PV because their local businesses, of course, are open during the street fair, and that's great because we're driving more traffic to them, but their regular patrons want to have a place to park. So we'll just leave it as park where you can. And you, you know, there's you... a lot of on-street parking, and, and uh, yeah, so maybe you have to park a few blocks down on Silver Spur and walk, but that's, but that's good, good for exercise. you. It's good exercise, particularly if you've had that funnel cake. That's right. Just saying. So yeah. yeah, just saying, no problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm mm -hmm. glad you brought up the promenade because mm -hmm. they also have great restaurants there. If you want yes. to take a break and go to the promenade oh, and yes. yeah. have a meal there, yes. it's, it's really great for everybody that yeah, way. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. absolutely. You cannot get a seat in most of those restaurants no, over the weekend. Packed. Because people want it. sometimes they want to get in the air conditioning yes. or they just want to sit a break down or whatever right. and we love the outdoor food vendors and the music and all that but sometimes you need to just decompress a little bit and so um yeah our local restaurants you know are they love the street fair because it drives so much traffic to them absolutely now mm -hmm. are you going to have the young entrepreneurs there this year yes thank tell you. us about that so, we love that oh thank you so this as many of you know your viewers may have heard um the chamber has been putting on a young entrepreneurs program for our middle and high school students this is our ninth year and we've had over 200 local students 
successfully complete this program. Um, it's four to five months long every year. And these students, we teach them about business and they actually launch their businesses and we have a shark tank and they pitch their products. And they come to the street fair and this year we have 25 local students and they come to the street fair on Saturday afternoon from one to four and we give them tables and they sell their product. And it's so cool because this is for many of them their first experience. They've conceived of this business, they've put it together, they've done a business plan, they've gotten their startup funding and they can actually sell something and put money in, of course, a Back local in. bank because yes. we help them open bank accounts at local banks. So, so great. we've taught them about paying taxes, getting their business licenses. So they're doing it right as they should. And so um, we're really excited. And so if you're at the street fair on Saturday afternoon from one to four, stop by and see the young entrepreneurs. It's, they're just mm -hmm. amazing. And mm -hmm. what an inspiration to see young people creating. I just oh, yeah. love that. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Now we have a ribbon cutting every year. Are we doing yes. that? Yes, we are doing that. That will be on Saturday at two o'clock okay. on the main stage. And we invite our mayors, our city yes. council, our sheriff, our, our battalion chief from mm -hmm. the fire department, you name it, all the, the local VIPs and elected officials and sponsors are there. And we introduce them all from the stage and uh, kind of do an official kickoff, even though the fair has already been open since it's 10 so in the fun, morning. Though. Yeah. We just do that at 2 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, so and that's, that's fun. Are we doing pony rides in Petting Zoo? We are. <gasps> love yes, that. I know, love I know. That. The little kids just absolutely, so actually fun. the big kids love it too. Okay, yes. let's just be truthful here. Yep. They love that petting zoo. Is mm -hmm. what's, what's more fun than petting a little tiny goat, right? And because I think that a lot mm -hmm. of kids don't really have that opportunity right. to do that. So, exactly. you know, mm -hmm. the llamas, mm -hmm. the little bunnies, just, yeah. I love it. I know, and it's just to me, I just love seeing the little toddlers and the, and the, all the fam young families with the strollers and stuff and they're taking pictures. It's adorable. Um, to me, Maria, I've said this before, but to me, the feeling of community is, so is palpable mm -hmm. at the street fair, whether you're so walking true. through the carnival or you're at the, at the stage and you're seeing grandparents dancing with their toddlers, young people, old people, no one cares what you're wearing, no one cares what you look like. Everybody's just out there having fun. It's just such a sense of community. That's why I love the street fair. That's what it's all about. It's you really feel community when you're there. Does and that I, make sense? A hundred percent. I don't think that I have ever gone where I have not run into somebody that I know. Absolutely. Or somebody yeah. I haven't seen in a long mm -hmm. time and you're mm -hmm. reconnecting and yeah. it, it's just such a fun and, and warm, welcoming feeling too. Yeah. Thank you. We it's work hard to make that happen you and, do. and uh, our bands and our vendors and the carnival all join in with us to make that happen. So and I was, thank you. I was going to ask you your mm -hmm. favorite part, but I think it's really just, just the connecting with people. That's exactly it. That yes, is it. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, have mm -hmm. we left anything out, Eileen? Oh my gosh. Well, we've talked about, <laughs> I think we've covered it all though. We've talked about the music. Oh, obviously beer and wine. We've oh, talked yes. about music, food, the carnival, the vendors, right. the petting zoo, the blood mobile. So it's all there and you can check on palacefreestreetfair.com yes. and get the front and center seating. Um, in advance or the carnival ride wristbands in advance save a little bit of money on that and the entertainment schedule it's all there or just call the chamber we'd be happy to tell you about it all right and just mm -hmm. mark it on your calendars mm -hmm. june 9th is teen night 10th mm -hmm. and 11th for all of the rest of us mm -hmm. and uh yeah get out to the street very music festival it's it's just the best time ever. Thank you. And I have really a question is. for you, Maria. What okay. are we going to eat this year? We always have a special dessert. Have we figured that out yet? You know, we always we have do. our yeah. thing, don't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. I think it will be a surprise, Eileen. Okay, let's see what yeah. it is. Yeah. I'll have to really look around and, and you'll look around. Right. And... I think that's what we usually do, right? Yeah. We scope it out and decide, yes. is it funnel cake? Is it... I think we did it's a hot fudge Sunday one year. We did. That yeah. was delicious, too. Yeah. And that unique ice cream that was kind of... Right. In rolls, which I had never seen before, which was delicious. I know. Yes. All right, a surprise. Always, it's always good. Always good. Thank you so much for being here and Thank you. giving us all info Street Fair and Music Festival. We hope to see you there as well. And that will do it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you around the peninsula and at the Street Fair. Oh my goodness, look at this.